it's not just the front liners lining up anymore. My name is Olivia. I'm actually a kind of a working student for the hospital. I work for the information systems team. I am a volunteer at hospice. It's for those like Vicki Brew. She couldn't wait to get the vaccine. I have a much better chance of living with the vaccine than I do getting COVID. She's one of the many St. Elizabeth workers vaccinated who are not necessarily in contact with COVID patients every day. I was pretty excited. Um, as soon as we got the opportunity, I signed up yesterday to, to come get it today. Sarah Beadle's a registered nurse in outpatient spine. She says the benefits of the vaccine clearly outweigh any risk for her. I am immunocompromised. I have MS, so um, I jumped on the opportunity as soon as I could. St. Elizabeth is using their training and education center in Erlanger as a vaccination center now. Several people can be vaccinated at the same time and still stay spread out in this convention hall. The hospital has gone from being able to do a couple of hundred vaccinations a day a few weeks ago to now more than 1,500 in a day, and they're not done growing. This is really exciting. Uh, our team has worked so hard over the past month working to get uh, vaccinations throughout our health system, but now we're on the brink of expanding to be able to vaccinate more health care workers. And those like Vicki Brew are glad to see it coming together because they got other coming together plans. It's one step closer to being able to be around my grandkids and my kids, and that's what I want. Now, this is still just hospital workers. They sign up, they get an appointment, uh, they're able to come down here. Uh, none of it takes more than about 20 minutes, and there's no crowds that way, too. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.